Okay, that should be back now. That should be back. Is it live again? Can you hear me? Hopefully you can fucking hear me. It should, should be back on. Don't know why the stream isn't loading though. Show chat. Should, should, should be back on. Should be back on. Oh, it's so complicated. It's so fucking complicated. Why is it always so complicated? I need to move that there. Alright, you can hear me. Good. I'm back on then. That That's good. That's good. So, Super Fucking Meat Boy is back. On. Now I need to fucking... There we go. Click. There we go. There we go. Now it's working. There we fucking go. Alright. Alright. Can't hear it. No, I can't hear anything either. So we're going to go help and options. Settings. There you go, now you should. Now you should be able to hear it. Yeah, I can hear it as well. There we go, it's working, it's working. How's the, how are the sound volumes? How are the sound volumes? Wait, did I? Yeah, there we go. It's all working? It's all working? Good, good, there we go. See, we got there in the end. We got there in the end. I'm still getting in the hang of things. Give me a break, give me a break. Okay. I'm going to do this with a fucking cigarette in my mouth, because that's what I always fucking do. Oh, it's, it's safe from where I was off. Alright, that's fine. There we go. Do you, want to, do you want me to start from the fucking beginning? I'll start from the beginning. I think that's the best way to do it. Come on, come on. Start from... How do I create a new thing? Right. I want to reset my fucking thing here. Settings. Can I even can I even do that? I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Well, anyways, I can replay the fucking levels, so that's fine. That's fine. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, Dragon T Pedron Spars. Yeah, how you doing? Nothing is happening. What do you mean? What do you mean nothing is happening? No, it should be. What are you talking about? Is this a troll again? Is this a fucking troll again? Oh, come on. I need to, I need to minus that out. I need to minus that out. Oh, come on, come on. How do I resize this shit? How do I resize it? Alright, alright, that, that should do it, that should fucking do it, shouldn't it? Oh no, that's fucked it, that's fucked it. I hate this fucking shit, right, there we go, there we go, that should be working now. Alright, fine. There we go. Alright, we're playing, we're playing. Oh fuck, alright, there you go. See, it's pretty, it starts off pretty fucking easy. I've done this before. There you go, very fucking simple. Oh fuck, see. Right. Aspect ratio is. Oh, for fuck's sake, this is a nightmare. This is a fucking nightmare. Oh, come on, come on. It looks absolutely fine! What the fuck are you talking about? It looks fine! It doesn't quite fit, but you know, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. You could, you could move it over here if, if you really fucking want. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter, does it? Right, just look at this. Look at this. Look at this shit. Right? What do, what do you fucking want? Right? You could do this as well. Right, now, you, now you can fucking see it properly. There's, there's, there's a little gap there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. Right. Okay. Oh. Fuck! Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm not moving it again. You can go fuck yourself. I'm not moving it again. No, there's no fucking way I'm moving it again. Oh, where the fuck? Where the fuck? Oh, yeah, you gotta do this. Alright, fine. Do that. Jump up. Yeah. I forgot. Well, I don't know. I don't even know what this fucking does. I've fucking forgotten. I've fucking forgotten what this shit does. Move it back. No, I'm not. Oh, my God. Fucking God, are you serious? I'm not moving anything back. It's fine, it's fine. 
Look at it, it's fucking fine. I'm looking at it right. It's fucking fine. Right, center. Fuck, no, I don't want to delete that. Right, order, position, center. Uh, fuck, resize, order, position, reset, no. Position, reset size, and then, and then, fucking fit the screen. It's not doing anything now. And order, fucking fit, fit to screen. Right, now that is back where it was before. Okay? Are you happy now? I'm not changing it again. There's no fucking way I'm changing that again. It looks absolutely fine. It looks absolutely fucking fine. Right. There, there's no way, there is no way I can be fucking compelled to change it again. And now you made me die. Look at that. I'm not changing anything. You can go fuck yourself. I'm not changing anything. It's absolutely fine. It is absolutely fucking fine. What the fuck did I do that for? It's not worse. It is not fucking worse. I am not changing shit. I am not changing fucking shit. There is, there is no chance in fucking hell I'm changing shit. Alright? I've already done this. I've already done this shit anyway. Alright, I've done it already. What is this? Right, let's, 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 let's do this guy. Alright. Yeah, you, you can you can fuck off. Stop trying to trigger me. I'm already gonna get triggered by the fucking game in a minute. Although I'm doing pretty sick. I'm pretty sick of this fucking game, let's be honest. I'm pretty good at it. Alright. See? Barely barely making a mistake there. Barely making a mistake there. There you go. There you go. Look at that dude. Oh, what the fuck? Alright. Oh, fuck fuck off. Fuck fuck's sake, why do I keep just running into the saws? Right, there you go. See, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. See? No mistakes, no mistakes, A+. plus. There you go, there you fucking go. Right, then you gotta fucking move this shit. Look at this shit, look at this shit. You fucking do that. A+. plus. Look at that, look at that fucking magic. Right, I forgot what you have to do here. I think you just do that, then you just jump over here. Boom, there you go. Alright, down here. I'm not gonna get the fucking portals. Fuck the fucking portals. There you go. A plus. Piss easy. It's fucking piss easy. Fuck. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm not dying. I'm not dying. I'm too good at this fucking game. It's like, let's face it. There you go. There you fucking go. Come on. Oh, what? Oh, fuck off. It is, it's fucking piss easy, it's piss easy. Look, I'm a, I'm a fucking pro at this. Alright, you can dodge that quite easily. Just do that. A plus, A fucking plus. See? Oh shit, I forgot about these fucking things. Yeah, unlucky, unlucky. Look at that. Look at that. What? Okay. What? Move! Fucking move. He just stuttered. He just got. Fuck, what the fuck? He just stuttered. Come on! He just stuttered again. Alright, see, there you go, there you go, see, you can't fucking hit me like that. Oh, come on, what? Right, it's, it's easy, it's fucking easy, look. It's just fucking, it's just fucking, it is fucking easy. It is easy. I'm just saying. Oh, come on, get up, get up, get up. What? I said move! I didn't actually tell him to do that, but the controller should have. Alright, there you go, there you fucking go. Jump up. And... Boom. That's how to fucking do it. That is how to fucking do it, boys. Oh, fuck. Right. Come on, then. Right, need to take this one slowly. And there we go. There we go. Right, fuck, move out of the way. Move out of the way. There you go. Boom, baby. That's how to do it. Uh, I, must be, I must be near on the last fucking level now. I must be on the boss soon, I reckon. I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure I'm nearly out. Right. Oh shit. Right. I need to time this. I need to fuck. I need to time this. Oh come on. Right. Oh look at that. Look at look at that. Are you impressed with how well I'm doing? I think I, I think I think it should be. 
I think he fucking should be. Oh shit, that was a close one. That was a fucking close one. Oh, come on, get up, get up. There we go. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Right, do a jump, do a jump. Oh! Yep, yeah. and then go through here. Then you have to time this one like that. Oh, fuck, I forgot about the fucking, I forgot about the fucking saws. I always forget what's fucking there. They don't really tell you. There's not, there's not much warning, is there really? Right. So I'm gonna do a fucking dash through that. Okay, the fucking saws. There you go. There you go. Nearly there. Nearly fucking there. There you fucking go. How how can you say I'm, I suck? I'm doing fucking well. I'm doing pretty fucking well. Oh shit. Right. Oh, I keep forgetting about this fucking saw. Oh, what? Come on, move out the way. Move out the way. Alright, get rid of these fucking rocks. Do a jump. Do a jump. Alright, you have to take this part pretty slowly. You have to take this part pretty slowly. Oh! Oh! Right, go, 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 go. There you fucking go. A plus. A fucking plus. I got them all with fucking A's. Look at that. A's. A's. All fucking round. Right, let's do some of the bonuses shit. Let's do the bonuses. Get those out of the fucking way. Whose side am I on with a Keemstar beef? Um, is that, are we talking about H3H3? Well, for one, he's not a fucking hypocrite. He's, he doesn't, uh, he wasn't two-faced. He wasn't a fucking, what else people are saying about him? Social justice warrior. And uh, he wasn't a hypocrite. And what was the other one? Backstabber. He wasn't a backstabber. The only mistake he's made is with Keemstar, because uh, there's there's no fucking doubt that um, he Keemstar didn't fucking say Keemstar didn't fucking say that he was a hypocrite, did he? So he's wrong on that count. But people calling him a hypocrite and shit, they're talking out their fucking ass. That one point with Idubs was a double standard. Yeah, that does not make him a hypocrite. Look up the fucking definitions of the words. Hypocrite, double standard, not the same fucking thing. You spastics. You don't know fucking words. You don't know what fucking words mean. It's a double standard, that's what you would call that. It's not a fucking, it's not fucking hypocrisy. And by the way, by the fucking way, like hypocrisy, if, you, if you're a little bit hypocritical at one point in time, does not automatically make you a fucking hypocrite by default. Yeah? To call someone a hypocrite is way worse than saying, oh, Ethan was just a little bit hypocritical on this particular fucking point. Yeah, it, it's completely fucking separate. But, you know, it makes for a good video title and shit. You know, putting Ethan Klein was just a little bit hypocritical on this one particular point at this one particular time. You know, rather than H3H3 H3 is just a fucking hypocrite. You know, put that in the video title. Yeah, it's bullshit, it's bullshit. I see every fucking YouTuber and their mother talking about this shit. Oh, H3H3 H3 is a fucking, he's a fucking hypocrite. Oh shit, I fucked that one. He's a hypocrite. He's, he, he backstabbed PewDiePie because he said, he said he was a little bit disappointed with his friend. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck is this shit? But you know, typical fucking YouTube community, typical fucking commentator shit. Fuck off, fuck off. Understand the meaning of fucking words, what they fucking mean. And not even just the definition of fucking words. Like, I'm not talking about the Webster's fucking English definition of fucking words. You know, you can't summarize a fucking word in, in, in a sentence, a paragraph, a fucking quote. You know, words hold deeper meaning. Understand that by, by calling him a fucking hypocrite it's way worse than just pointing out that he's been a little bit hypocritical here, which he hasn't. Fortunately, there's no fucking noun for double standard, right? And it's just an opinion that it's a double standard, because it is a little bit of a double standard. Like, that's the fucking definition of what he did. You know? Look it up. Look it fucking up. Understand what words mean. Hello, Irish badass. How you doing? How you doing? So, yeah, understand what fucking words mean, and shut up. Keemstar is just... Uh, I can't read that. Fuck the chat thing. Right, let's move it a bit. Keemstar is just milking it now. Commentary community just love the buzz. A bit of buzzwords like hypocrite. That's exactly it. It's fucking, well, he's not milking it, but it's like fucking... Yeah, hypocrite. Hypocrite. It's a buzzword. It's like double standard. And it's like not double standard. It's like hypocrite. Backstabber. They love fucking words like that. Always nouns, by the way. You look at any of these video titles by these commentators, there's always fucking nouns involved. They love these fucking nouns. And the fucking audience love these nouns as well, because 
People don't want to hear you just disagree with opinions and shit. They don't want to hear that. I disagree with you on this point, but that's it. I just disagree with you. You know, the audience doesn't want to fucking hear that. The YouTubers don't want to talk about that. They want to hear you call someone else a fucking hypocrite or anything with a noun, anything negative. And the audience would just love that because they just want leeway and they just want an example to do it for themselves. You're a hypocrite. You're a fucking hypocrite. Double standard can't be used as a fucking noun. You can't be a double standard. You can't be a double fucking standard. There's probably a noun that embraces that concept. Yeah, there's probably a noun that embraces it. But there's no fucking direct parallel fucking noun for it. There's just there just isn't. Yeah, bandwagoning. They love that word too. Right there, you go. Fucking did it. I fucking did it. It's amazing. It's just so fucking typical. Fucking typical. I almost made a, 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 a podcast about it, like a, a podcast on my own about it. Still might, still might release it. I don't know. But yeah, it's a joke. It's a fucking joke. So there you go. There you go. That's my answer to your very short question, a very long answer. But yeah, I've got a lot to say about it, actually. There's an awful lot I've got to say about it. Because even though I disagree with Ethan on some some points, some points is just fucking wrong in my opinion. Well, I did it on the live stream a little bit, but it goes into more depth than that. But um, even though even though I did that live stream, like I disagree with him fine. But that doesn't mean he, he's he's these fucking things people are accusing him of being. It's madness. You know all the thing, all the good things that Ethan has done, like all the charity work. But no, it's just it's just outweighed by this one particular point where apparently he's a fucking hypocrite. Like, this is what you have to fucking deal with. You doesn't matter how much fucking integrity you build up over time, it counts for nothing in the end when you make one little slip-up. Well, he didn't even really do a slip-up, it's his fucking opinions. It's a little bit of a double standard. Hardly the worst thing in the fucking world. Come on. Get a grip. Get a fucking grip. Clown, notice how that you're the only one who stuck up for H3H3 H3 on this was Tommy. Yeah, and I, I, I fucking would have, I fucking would have done it. I don't really have a platform at the moment to say it. I'm not going to make a whole fucking video about it. Because I want to spend time doing it. But I was going to do like a podcast on my own. Like a solo podcast. But I don't know. For the, sh for the second channel. It wouldn't even be for the main channel. I was going to do that, but fuck it. I still might. I still might. You know, some pe it's worthy of a defense. It's worthy of a defense. It really is. But, you know, there's no question. There's no question. This is where... Ethan has messed up is what happened with Keemstar. There's just no fucking doubt that Keemstar was in the right on that one. No fucking doubt at all. Shut up! Why are they screaming? He's killing them. He's actually fucking killing them. He's killing those fucking dogs. Uh, I miss... I can't fucking read these messages. Ethan thinks he's a god and that's why he doesn't say sorry to Keemstar. Maybe there's a fucking element to that. I think he got drunk. He said some things that he didn't really mean to say. He didn't really do the research or whatever. So he figured he might make Keemstar a bit of a scapegoat. And like, if he had been sober or whatever, maybe he wouldn't have done it. But whatever, either way, it's a fucking mistake. He should hold his fucking hands up and apologize. Like, if that's the only mistake he makes, then fine. But he should sort it out. I think his fucking pride won't let him. He needs someone to sit, sit him fucking down, and say, look, Ethan, it's fine, your opinions are fucking fine, alright? They're just your opinions. It doesn't make you a hypocrite, it doesn't make you two-faced, it doesn't make you a backstab, it doesn't make you a social justice warrior. But here's where you fucked up, because there's absolutely no fucking way that it's not a fuck up, alright? He literally didn't say it. He literally did not call you a hypocrite, he just reported on what others are saying. And maybe he, he read it like, oh, well, Keemstar... Keemstar was just, um, he was just insinuating it by reporting what other people were saying in that particular manner. But you've got to understand that with drama, like, you've got to be entertaining. You know, because he did that noise, like, he did that, ooh, like, after, after H3H3 was reported on being a hypocrite, he did that fucking noise. It probably didn't help matters. But it's just Keemstar being Keemstar, like, trying to make it fucking entertaining. That's the problem. That's always been the problem with drama alert. You can't have it both ways. A, you cannot have, like, factual reporting, like, unbiased reporting, then you can't have an opinion at the same time. And then you can't make that un- you can't make it entertaining in the process. Like, you can't force the entertainment value. Because that way, you, you do appear a little bit biased. It's kind of tricky. But, I mean, Drama has been around long enough that Ethan should fucking know that. Come on, he should fucking know that. 
Tommy C, I saw, saw the Twitter post he made. Um, he hasn't really defended Ethan by calling him a hypocrite. Not really. Not really. It was more uh, going against Tommy C, uh, going against Keemstar because he feels like Keemstar wronged him. No, Keemstar didn't fucking do anything. Sorry, Tommy. I, I call facts as I fucking see him. There's no bias involved, right? I'm friends with Keemstar and Tommy, so I can see the right and wrong in this particular situation. I'm not friends with Ethan, but for the most part, he's right around the whole thing. Especially considering, you know, people are calling him hypocrite and shit. He is wrong on this one particular thing. Like, this is just a fucking fact. There's no bias involved. There is a little bit, you know, there always fucking is gonna be. But, you know, my opinion. Ethan... Did really nothing wrong with the whole PewDiePie situation. His mistake lies in what he did with Keemstar. End of story. He needs to sort it fucking out. He really needs to sort it out. I'm playing Super Meat Boy. That's what I'm playing. Tommy was actually his mate. Yeah, there's something to do with context there. Yeah, context plays into it a lot. Where the fuck is the context in Keemstar reporting that Ethan was a hypocrite, therefore he is saying Ethan is a hypocrite? What a load of rubbish. It's just not true. It's fucking lies. It's bold faced lie. It's not a very long video. You know, it's very easy to go. I watched it fucking four times just looking for how the fuck did he interpret it that way? I literally watched it four times. It's, it's just no, there's no room for misinterpretation what to speak of. No misinterpretation at all. How can you misinterpret that? He either A, did not watch the fucking video in the first place, and he just he just had this information second hand. B, he watched the video and just, I don't know what the fuck went through his brain, but he totally misinterpreted it in every single way possible. Or three, he is actively trying to make Keemstar out to be a fucking scapegoat, deliberately ignoring all the information that video possessed. Right? I don't know how you misinterpret that video. I really don't. The only possible way I can think of it, I think of that, is um, Keemstar trying to be fucking entertaining. But even then, it's like, you're splitting fucking hairs. It's such a minor point. Drama Alert has been around long enough that anyone knows that it's just, it's just Keemstar trying to be a fucking entertaining spastic. Well, I gotta stub out the cigarette. It's a great topic, though. I love it. It's probably the most interesting thing to happen this year, let's face it. 2017, a year of fucking boring, fucking incessant Jake Paul stories. And other nonsense. <clears throat> Diss tracks and shit like that. This, this is something actually entertaining. The only other entertaining I can think, thing I can think of is this fucking, uh... What's it called? Christian Burns shit. I think that was it. For me, that's been it. Nothing else has been entertaining to speak of. PewDiePie, Keemstar, H3H3, Love Triangle. Yeah, it's definitely the most entertaining thing this year. Drama-wise, anyways. Was the Wall Street Journal thing this year? Oh, right, fuck, yeah, of course it was. Alright, the most entertaining thing in the last four months, let's put it that way. Last four months. Last quarter. Let's say that. Yeah. I'm getting time frames mixed. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, most entertaining thing, drama-wise, to happen in the last four months. By far. By far. The rest is just shit. The rest is just shit. So if I make this video, I don't think I'm going to be too late for it, because I think it's a great topic. People are going to say that, oh, you're late to the fucking party again, Colossal. You're late to the party again, Clown. Always missing the chance. Well, some people have fucking shit to do, alright? Some people don't rush into making a decision. Some people actually structure their fucking sentences a little smarter. Use the correct words. It's probably why I've, I've watched I've watched several videos on on this shit now. I don't think I've seen a good one. I don't. I really don't think I've seen a good one. Rushed opinions, as usual. Fuck. 
Uh, what Ethan said that he enjoys drama alert on Baited, but, but on his own podcast he said Keem's show is trash. Yeah, that's that's true. That is true. I think he said a lot of shit in that podcast. A lot of fucking stupid points. I'm not doing that again. Fuck that. Yeah, a lot of stupid points. What were some of the other points? I'm trying to remember now. I might play this. He keeps mentioning the fucking children point. Like, oh, PewDiePie, he said it with PewDiePie, and it was a shit point. It's like, PewDiePie, Pew most of PewDiePie's fans are children, he should be more responsible. Well, the fact of the matter is, Ethan, that these children are like the, the, the main demographic of YouTube, if you like. You know? So, you've got millions of fucking subscribers. You're guaranteed to have over half a million, at least, fucking fans that are children. So maybe you should be responsible, and since your content is more edgy in inverted commas than PewDiePie's, maybe you should be more responsible than he is. You know? And he said the same thing with Keemstar. You know, most most of these kids are just watching his fucking videos. They're just kids with shit opinions, don't really understand. I mean, it, it's when you say that, it's kind of like... It, it's a very, it's a very uh, cheap point to make. It's a really cheap point to make. It's hard to play this fucking game and speak at the same time. It's it's a very it's a very cheap point to make, right? No better way to discredit another YouTuber by saying than by saying all your fans are fucking children. And you know, Keemstar he made a Twitter Twitter video, rightly called him out for that. Rightly called him out for that. However, Keemstar, sorry to say, but Keemstar has done this himself. You know, that was a point against Keemstar. Because I know for a fact Keemstar has done that himself. I think I did it in my fucking FoosyTube video. It's just a shit point, in general. Most of your fans are children, so therefore your opinions are pointless. And anyone who defends you or is on your side, they're children, so, you know, their opinion is shit. Most YouTubers' fans are children. Let's just fucking face facts. Mine are, Ethan's are, and Keemstar's are. Maybe, maybe there's a greater ratio. You know, from PewDiePie to Ethan to Ethan to Keemstar. Greater ratio of children watching the content doesn't change the fact that there's millions of subscribers involved and you've got at least fucking half a million if not more that are children there's no getting around it no fucking getting around it right Keen knows he's in the fucking right for the most part so of course he's of course he's fucking talking about it he knows he's in the fucking right Hundred percent. It's it's like it's not even it's not even based on opinion that one is it? Because facts are fucking facts, and the fact is that he didn't fucking say it. And there's just no way there's just no way anyone can argue that. It's irrefutable. It's not an opinion. It's a fact. There's there's, there's little to no room to misinterpret that. Little to no fucking room. Yeah, it's super meat boy. But yeah, very interesting topic. I've been loving it. I wish I had my Twitter because I would have said so much about it. But uh, unfortunately, like, I'm kept in the dark here. Would have liked, would have liked to defend Ethan a bit. Would have liked to defend Keemstar a bit. Would have liked to call some of the idiots out. And keep saying Ethan is a fucking hypocrite and shit. Would have loved that very much. Oh well, never fucking mind. Hopefully, I get it back tomorrow. That's all I can say. Fucking need it back. I feel like, I feel like I can't even give my fucking opinion on shit anymore. Like, Twitter was such a good platform for that. So now I'm forced to make a video, well I can't make a shit video, because, you know, that's that's a bad idea. I don't want to become one of those fucking people that just make a shit video for the sake of making it. So, I, I was going to make a, like a shit post on my second channel, um, just like a podcast on my fucking own. And I started doing it, and it, was, it went on for so long, and I kept, kept, I don't know, I'm not very good at making a podcast on my own. Maybe I, st I still might release it. Um, but I just go off topic so many fucking times. It's ridiculous. I just start talking about random shit. Can't, can't keep my head in the fucking topic. Just can't do it. Just can't fucking do it. So you're just talking to yourself in a dark room, into a microphone, for the best part of four hours, you know. Your mind fucking wanders. Your mind fucking wanders. 
I still might release it if you don't mind me going off topic like a motherfucker. Like, it's crazy. Wait, I'm missing that. So, Clan, why didn't Keem report on the Roblox streamer who turned out to be a pedophile? I have no idea what that fucking story is. No idea you what that really story should is. have known that Keem oh, would something. have done this. He's I got a long history of turning it. things that are relatively minor into something big. Peter Day donated three dollars. Ethan really should have known that Keem would have done this. He's got a long history of turning things that are relatively minor into something big. Um. All I've got to say to that, I don't 100% disagree with that. However, there is no doubt that Keemstar is in the fucking right. That's point one. Point two, this was shaping up to be a pretty big battle in the sense that Ethan is one of the biggest YouTubers on the platform. Probably one of the most, uh, one of the YouTubers with the most integrity. Keemstar's doing very well at the moment. Now, Ethan calls him out on his own podcast for something that Keemstar simply didn't do. I mean, Keemstar must have been worried, as I would be, a little bit. Actually, no, I would just I would just like the promotion, to be honest. I've been very happy with it. But if I was Keemstar, I'd be like, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit worried. I'm a bit worried about that, because one of the biggest YouTubers, the, one of the YouTubers with the most credibility, is calling me Keemstar, the guy who called Alex a something a long time ago. You know, could, could, be, could be a problem. So Keemstar had not only every right to defend himself, not only every right, but two, he felt, must have felt like he had to. I, I, you can't blame Keemstar. You can't blame Keemstar for that one. There's just no way. Oh shit! Reset, reset, reset. Fucking chat. Right, I'm just gonna take. I'm just gonna take a bit of a break there. Not from the stream in general, but like from the game. Okay. I'm not saying he's he's a YouTuber with the most integrity. People interpret that, you know. People see him as a YouTuber with a lot of integrity. Let's not deny. I mean, there's there's not a lot of YouTubers out there with a whole bunch of integrity. Come on, they're not they're not really out there, are they? Um. So for what it's worth, you know, Ethan Ethan kind of deserves it. Does he, has he made mistakes mistakes in the past? Of course he has. Fucking everyone has. He wasn't right with the pyrocynical thing. He wasn't right. He wasn't right with the leafy thing. No. There are plenty of people that have done way worse than him. And two, I think he, I think he's one of those people that has done a lot of fucking good. Alright? He's earned enough good boy points to deserve that, to warrant that. The problem is that you build up all this integrity, and you just do one little thing. One little thing, and poof, it's fucking gone. It's gone. Nobody cares about that. Nobody cares what, what you worked for. Nobody cares what you tried to ascertain throughout all that time. It just doesn't matter in the fucking end. You could be the best fucking YouTuber in the world, you know, never clickbait, never do fucking anything. And somewhat, and you do one little thing, people are just, it, it, nothing else matters. Nothing else fucking matters. It's a great fucking shame. Great fucking shame. But there you have it, that's the fucking community that it is. So yeah, uh, great shame. I love how YouTube trends have become reciprocal with reaction videos and challenge videos making a research. Yeah, I've noticed, certainly noticed the uh, the reaction videos. I actually haven't noticed the challenge videos. That's new information to me. But I've certainly no noticed the reactions. Right, I need to go inside in a sec because my laptop is just about where well, I can plug it in from out inside, actually. Ah. Oh. It's okay to fucking disagree with something, but what I've seen with a lot of these YouTubers, it's less, a, it's, it's less about disagreeing with what someone has said. They've got to make it about their character, so it's a personal attack on their character. Why can't it ever be just a disagreement? I disagree with your opinion on these particular points. No, they've got to make it about their fucking character. Common, common mentality with a lot of YouTubers. <clears throat> I miss the days when the top content on YouTube was Minecraft Let's Plays and not this drama shit. Don't knock drama, alright? It's very, very easy to say that, right? All drama is shit. No! Drama is in such a fucking massive bracket, right? It's such a massive thing. 
Now, maybe most of it is shit. I don't fucking argue with you, but there's plenty of good stuff that's interesting, you know, all the time. And by the way, all the YouTubers out there who are like, I fucking hate drama, it's so petty, it's so immature, and then make a video talking about that. What do you, what do you, what do you think you're doing but causing more drama? You're, you're involved in that community, you're literally talking about drama. You want a fucking double standard, fucking hypocrisy, whichever fucking word you like to use since you don't fucking know the interpretation of either one. You don't know what either one means, just use whatever you fucking want. You know, it's, it's just direct fucking bullshit. Well, I, was, I haven't got a video in the works, exactly, like not a main, not for the main channel, but I was gonna, I was gonna talk about this shit on the second channel, a little bit. I still might do it. I don't know, I, I was speaking to Chad today, and he was like, oh, the topic's a bit dead, because we need, we really need to film a fucking basis. And I was like, well, what will we talk about? And I was like, well, of course, we've got to talk about this H3, H3 Keemstar, um, PewDiePie shit, like, this is hot topic, and it's like, well, actually, it's been a week, and it's kind of dying down. That's, that's the, one of the problems with, uh, with these topics, drama in general. These topics die. Nothing wrong with drama. Absolutely, 100% nothing wrong with drama. As a, as a thing. You can just, just criticise some parts of drama. That's absolutely fine to do. It's like every fucking subsector and genre of YouTube, right? This is a fact. Not all of it is shit. Okay, there are even some, like, reaction videos that are pretty good. I have seen some good ones. Even with the pranks, the prank community, which was probably the worst one, is probably the worst community that's ever risen from YouTube, even worse than reactions. And I've seen some good pranks. Okay, they're pretty hard to find. They're pretty hard to find, but there's, there are some good ones. Not everything is shit, just most of it. And it's the same thing with fucking drama. The drama community. Not everything is shit, just most of it. Going for a wang, good night. Have a, have a, have a nice wang. Clown, do I think Chad is the weakest link of baited? It's kind of like a very unfair question to ask, since, you know, I'm literally doing a podcast with these people. And, uh, I like, I consider all, all three of them like friends. It's kind of an unfair question to ask, I'm not answering it. And don't take that as confirmation that I do think he's the weakest thing. Make a diss track on the shithole YouTube has become, I can see the irony of it, but fuck it. Uh, well I have considered it actually, but I, I wouldn't do it, I wouldn't do it on YouTube exactly. But I do want to kind of make like a little bit of a diss track, but not on anyone in particular. Just a rap song really. I miss like... Because I used to rap when I was a kid, I fucking miss that shit. And quite quite honestly, I think I could do it better than most of the people who are making these diss tracks today. Maybe that's an ego fucking thing. But I, I think I can. I think something people should call out more than H3H3 H3 is the YouTubers whining about being demonetized because of PewDiePie. Well, I think you might have noticed that I was the first person to fucking say that. Pretty much. On Twitter though, not a video. But yes, I mean, there, there were tweets there before it was fucking deleted. Not the tweets, but the Twitter. Um, yeah. So I have said it. Alright, Cheesy Christ, how you doing? How you doing? Nice, nice to see you here. YouTube was always shit, don't know why people are acting like this is new. I think I said the same thing and abated. Like, it was the whole, we were talking about Jake Paul and it was like, yeah, YouTube has never been this shit. I was like, well, has anything really changed? He may be the shittest part of it at the moment, but YouTube has always remained shit, and you know, next month, next year, six months from now, whatever, it's gonna be someone else. It's always changing. I am by far, this, this much I can tell you, I am by far the strongest link on Baited. 100%. Yeah, absolutely. No, I don't know. I hate how people visit a podcast, and they did this with Beta when it first came out, they did this with Cash33. Every single podcast I've seen they've done this. Who's the weakest, who's the strongest link? Does it have to be about that? You know, when it was baited, it was like, oh yeah, Tommy's the weakest link here. Does it have to be about that? Everyone adds their own element to the podcast. It might not be the element that you consider to be the most, the most uh, impressionable. 
But either way, everyone everyone had a role on that podcast, and Tommy's role was very important. He had an unfair role, in all fairness, but he was very, very much needed. And that's why Beta was so successful. Not just due to Tommy, but he was a part of that. Just as Keemstar and I were. There was a balance there. Everyone had their place in Beta, all individuals were unique and good clash. That's why old Beta was so good, and I agree. I agree. Not to say that new Beta is not good, though we do need to film some fucking evidence to, uh, film some, uh, fucking episodes to, uh, provide evidence of that. We've only done fucking one so far, it's a bit disappointing. What I do worry about with Keemstar, and this is a negative point against Keemstar, because I think I've defended him way too much this stream. I feel like, and maybe he might admit this, I don't know, I've never spoken to him about it. I feel like... Beta for Keemstar was less about entertaining people and entertaining himself. For Keemstar, Beta was about having a platform in which to defend himself. And now that he has been defended, and he doesn't feel the need, well, he doesn't need to defend himself anymore, Beta for him is like, it's just another thing. You know, it's not as important as Drama Alert. He doesn't really care what happens to it, and it just doesn't matter in the scheme of things. That's how I kind of feel that Keemstar is towards Beta at the moment. And that's kind of selfish. That's kind of selfish because that's not why I signed up for it. I saying I signed up to entertain my fucking self, you know? Less about entertaining the other people who listen to it, but more about although it was a bit about that, but it was more about entertaining myself. That's why I wanted to do fucking beta. I wanted to argue with DJ Killer Keemstar on a fucking internet podcast. That's what it appealed to me. Keemstar claimed that, you know, he wanted to, it was a platform for himself, he never denied it, but he wanted to entertain the fans. And for Keemstar, and he used this as a point in the, in the episodes multiple times, you know, you're letting down the fans, you're letting down the fans, we've got to entertain the fans. Well, to entertain the fans, we've got to fucking record an episode. And I feel that that now, maybe, maybe, maybe his mind changed, but for now, it's like, it's less about entertaining the fans and more about having a defense platform for Keemstar. That's the problem. But myself, Chad, Andy, we're all doing this for the same reason. To entertain ourselves. At the end of the day, it's not a big secret, but although we do care about the people who listen to it to a certain extent, we don't really give a shit. You know, whether you like it or not, whether you tune in or not. Only, only if it benefits us, ultimately. Like, more people tune in, the better the podcast does, the more entertaining it is for us. But it all... It all comes down to how entertaining the podcast is for us to do it. And ultimately, everything else pales by comparison. Including entertaining others. If you say it otherwise, it's just not true. At least we fucking admit it. Like this stream, the stream right now, it's the same thing. Like obviously I want to kind of entertain you guys a bit. But for me, it's about entertaining my fucking self. That's all there is to it. And I'm willing to make allowances with like what games I play and shit. Because I'm pretty happy just, just fucking streaming. I'll play, any, I'll play anything, you know. Except fucking PUBG all the fucking time because I just fucking hate that game. The only reason we enjoy the podcast is because you guys are entertaining yourself. It's pretty fucking simple. Yeah, you, you can read that subconsciously or otherwise. If you're on a podcast, you're not having a good time, then it, it really the audience picks up on it subconsciously or otherwise. They pick it up that you're not having a good time and therefore it's not entertaining. Very important to enjoy what you're doing. Fuck me, it is so hot. It is so fucking hot. Right, do you want me to keep playing this game, or do you want, want me to play something else? Clown Lord Vegas says you kill everyone on your own team. I did that once. I did that on. I did that fucking once. One time, and he deserved it. Come on, he fucking deserved it. Keep playing. All right. Let me finish this cigarette. 
fucking sweating like a fucking donkey. Did you see Grade A under A popped in? No, I didn't. I didn't see him pop in, no. I didn't, actually. Has he gone now? Grady, you still there? You still there, Grade? I'll wait for the response. He may have left. He may have left. I'll wait. I'll wait to see a response. I haven't spoken to him for ages. Got a message here. The fuckers, no. Don't want to fucking know that. You're lurking my chats. You're triggered. Triggered. Did, did, did you listen to the whole uh, Keemstar H3H3 PewDiePie shit? Great. If you did and you disagree, let, let's call in. I'll, I'll hear your side of it. You're a smart guy. I'd love to hear your side of things. If you want to, that is. Let me know. Let me know. We're not, we're not taking the stream too... Well, I never take any stream too seriously, so... It doesn't have to be like a massive fucking debate or anything. What do you reckon? Up to you. Entirely up to you. Either way. <coughs> what happened about it exactly? Give me a quick summary if you can be bothered. Alright. Well, <coughs> PewDiePie said nasty word, the n-word. I can't say it here on stream. On his stream, while wearing fucking cat ears for some reason, he, he had like Microsoft Paint cat ears on his fucking head. Don't know, don't, know, don't know why, but he may have potentially ruined everyone's career while wearing fucking cat ears on his head. So that was that. Um, obviously there were a lot of YouTubers that uh, went against this because they feel there's going to be another adpocalypse in Wall Street Journal going to come in and fuck, him, fuck us all up again. Um, so a lot of people attacking him for selfish reasons. Some people genuinely offended. You know, can't, can't deny that. Some people genuinely offended that he used the word. Um, H3H3, Ethan Klein, makes a podcast about this entire situation. And uh, he is actually on the attack of, of, of PewDiePie. Not attack. Attack is probably the wrong word. But he says, and I quote, and he uses this word a lot, I'm disappointed with what PewDiePie did. And he's, he cites several references for why he believes this. Because PewDiePie is the biggest YouTuber on the platform, this happened before, etc, etc. Um, I disagree with him on a few few points. And uh, some other people do. PewDiePie makes an apology video, it's a pretty good apology video, though he waited three days to do it, which was kind of, kind of sketchy because I think he, you can argue that he was waiting for other people, uh, other people's opinions, where the trend was going, and that would have uh, reflected in his apology a fair bit. Maybe it might have been a completely different apology, actually, um, if more people were on his side, like I was, because I don't see it as a big deal at all. Still a little bit of a mistake, obviously, dropping the M-bomb on a stream, but uh, people made it out to be a way bigger deal than it was. Um, so, H3H3, to get the timelines right, Keemstar makes a drama alert, and Scarce does it, he calls both of them out, but mostly Keemstar, they make a drama alert, and Scarce makes his fucking video about this entire situation. And they both report, though Scarce, let's, let's ignore Scarce for now. Fuck, fuck Scarce, alright? This is about Keemstar. Keemstar says that other people are saying that Ethan is a hypocrite. Now, these people who are reporting that Ethan is a hypocrite because Ethan was obviously in condemnation of PewDiePie saying this word, and they play this fucking clip of uh, the time Idubs was on his podcast and Idubs was saying something faggot and uh, Ethan was like making a joke and he was just saying oh I love the way they use this this, this word exactly exactly the same context context whatever whatever and um, they used that as a reference point to say that H3H3 was a hypocrite even though that like, by definition that is not hypocrisy that is just double standards and that's just an opinion that it's a double standard so Ethan then makes another podcast. Fuck me, it's like it's like a whole fucking story. Ethan then makes another podcast, and he says in this podcast, a little bit drunk, that Keemstar had called me a hypocrite, when in fact he hadn't. And Keemstar was just reporting that other people were saying Ethan was a hypocrite. So that's the story. Fuck me. Holy shit. Yeah. So that's, that's the long and fucking short of it, and it's more long than short, pretty much. 
Changing opinions, as is convenient with what's the mainstream view, don't politicians do that all the time? Well, funny you say that because a lot of YouTubers I notice, particularly the commentary community, um, no names mentioned just yet, but I noticed several of them were saying, um, who were very, very against PewDiePie from the very beginning, as most were, most people were actually against him to start with. And then a couple days later, total reverse of opinion. The trend completely changed from, we're against PewDiePie, now we're for him. Total transition there. Um, and it's in no small part due to his apology, in fairness. But I think it's more to do with H3H3's podcast, actually, and some of the things he said. I would say that that will have more of an effect. Don't forget, he also called out Scarce, and Scarce apologised instantly. Yes, funny thing with Scarce. Funny thing with Scarce. Actually, Ethan, it was perfectly acceptable for him to call out Scarce, um, because it's kind of difficult to find quotes off the top of my head. But it was a different situation with Keemstar. Because Keemstar literally was, no room for misinterpretation, Keemstar literally was reporting what other people were saying, i.e. H3H3 was a hypocrite. With Scarce, he not only did that, but then he went on to say, I hope, I hope uh, Ethan clears this up soon. We YouTubers make these mistakes all the time. It was something along those lines. You know, so clearly, this insinuates that Scarce believes that these YouTubers who were saying Ethan was a hypocrite are in the right. Now, maybe, maybe it's just Scarce being a fucking Muppet, and uh, he's not phrasing his sentences well, um, and he's leaving a lot of room for misinterpretation, but the fact of the matter is, at the end of the day, Ethan was perfectly fine to call Scarce out. That was just reasonable. Keemstar, not the same case. Irish badass, mod me. I will mod you. I will mod you. I'll mod great as well. The opinion seems to be that you can't criticise PewDiePie. I remember when Jack Jacksepticeye and Casey Neistat said, hey, that's not cool, and they got crucified for it. People are dumb, man. Yeah, definitely. With Ethan, I found that for the most part, a lot of these YouTubers calling him out, calling him a hypocrite, uh, calling him a social justice warrior, calling him, what's the other one, backstabber. Uh, they're throwing a lot of words out there. Um, a lot of these YouTubers, they're not really... Uh, criticizing his opinion. You know, it's not about disagreeing with what Ethan has said, but it's more about an attack on his character. That's what I found. You know, for me, and uh, this is what it should be, you disagree with someone, you disagree with someone. I disagree with you here, here, and here. But that doesn't seem to be the case with a lot of these YouTubers. They've got to add a noun to it. Hypocrite, racist, backstabber, you know. Makes for a better video title, but it's kind of bullshit. Scarce is just an idiot. He meant no harm. H3 called him out. Yeah. And you know, Scarce did the right thing. He apologised, right? But uh, a lot of people were saying, even Keemstar, fuck it, fucking for once. This, is, this was amazing to me. Keemstar defended fucking Scarce. And he said, oh, Scarce didn't do anything wrong either. Actually, no. <laughs> it's like one of the few times that Scarce did actually do something fucking wrong. Uh, so that was kind of funny. But no, Scarce was, Scarce was in the wrong there. Not the same situation with Keemstar, and there's just no room, as I've said many times, for misinterpretation. Keemstar did nothing fucking wrong. This time, anyway. Yeah. But yeah, no, Keemstar, oh no, I promise you, Keemstar did defend him on Twitch. Uh, not Twitch, Twitter. By the way, great. No fucking Twitter anymore. They've shut that one down. Um, what I think has happened there is uh, I've got loads of these fake Colossal is Crazy accounts. And because of the reason they cited for terminating my account was that I was posting violent threats, which obviously I haven't done. You know, there's no fucking way. I went to see some of these fake accounts and they were saying, kill yourself and stuff like that to various people. So Twitter saw that, saw what these fake accounts were doing, and then thought it was me. 
Because it's very easy to make a fake account, especially with my name. Because all you have to do is change an L to an I or an I to an L, and it looks like the real thing. That's just a theory anyway, I don't know for a fact that that has happened. Well, there was an explanation, a very brief one, and it literally just said, um, uh, you've been posting violent threats, your account will not be restored. That was it. Obviously, I've not been posting any violent threats, like I know that for a fact. The closest I've ever come to that is telling my friend, the pit plaid, I hope he gets run over by a car. Right? That's, that's, that must be the closest I've ever come to that. But that was like months ago. That was fucking months ago. Yeah, I'll, I'll speak to Grade. I'll speak to Grade on Skype if he wants to call in. I've got him on Skype, so all he needs to do is call. Though I think I've got a, I've got a, I've got to add Skype to uh, the sources in OBS. I'll do that now, just in case. But yeah, I've got him on Skype. Let me just do that, just in case. Well, I'll do, I'll do it with monitor. I'll do it. With, no, no, no. I can't do it with monitor capture because I'm not going to name. Give me two seconds. And. So that's set up if he wants to call it. Totally up to him. If you can't call in, Grade, what are you up to? I know you posted a video recently, but are you back to YouTube for good? Staying on Twitch? Are you going to start doing Twitch again? Let me eat and I might call in. Alright, yeah, entirely up to you. I'll be here for another hour or so. I haven't seen the video yet, great, but uh, yeah, if you're back, good, great, good. And uh, hopefully you start streaming again as well. So you've got hundreds of thousands of fuck fucking followers there. I've checked it out. Um, you've got to fucking use them. I wish I had that many fucking followers. Right, shall we, shall we continue playing this game then? Or shall we play something else? Plans are both getting an urge to make videos again, so we'll see. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, I, I feel for you, like, I was in the same way for a long time. Well, still am a little bit. Like, it just totally... YouTube is just fucked up, and it's just, I don't, not incentive, no incentive to, like, make videos and shit. Yeah, I feel it. Not when they could just, A, demonetize you at any given point and just get rid of your video. It's very off-putting, very demotivating. Yeah, I think a lot of YouTubers are in the same boat. Hopefully it gets better, but it's been this way for fucking months now. Can't really blame anyone for taking a break. This is what a lot of people don't understand as well. It's not about the money for people. When you see that your video has been demonetized, it's, 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 uh, it's not getting into the algorithm. You know, that's very, very fucking demotivating for a lot of people. Because you feel like you're doing everything right. You're adjusting your content um, um, so that it is right. They're telling you to do this, you're doing it. And they're still fucking you on it. All anyone cares about on YouTube is Jake Paul and diss tracks. It's so uninteresting. Yeah. As I was saying a bit earlier, like, for the last four months, maybe five, it's all just been Jake Paul, diss tracks, nothing interesting has happened. I think the only thing that was interesting was the uh, Christian Burns thing. And now, of course, this H3H3 Keemstar PewDiePie thing. But that's it for, like, the majority of the year, really. Who fucking, who really fucking do you... I don't understand these kids. I don't understand these kids who constantly want to hear what Jake Paul has done. I don't understand these kids who... who who give a shit about these fucking diss tracks or someone else has made a diss track on someone else. Great. Who fucking cares? Who cares? 
It's not even real. It's not even real drama. It's all staged. It's all put on. It's Big Brother shit. Greg will know what that is because he lives in the UK. Maybe you have a US version as well. I'm not sure. Um, but certainly in the UK, we've got this show called Big Brother. And mostly now celebrities come into this big house and they've all got to kind of get on together. Well, I think actually the purpose is that they don't get on. And there are the several conflicts there. And it's just, it's just bullshit. It's all staged. It's all put on. They're overacting. Um, it's all that shit. To make it entertaining, it's not entertaining, to be honest. Because you know it's all fucking staged. Trisha Paytas was, has been on the last one. I was watching a few clips. She, what a monster. She is an actual fucking monster. What a creature. Like, I'm watching these clips and I cannot believe she's fucking human. Actually, shall we play that clip that I watched on stream? Because you'll be fucking blown away. It's nothing new. Nothing new that she's done. You know, we all know she's a fucking pig. Alright, she's a monster. But, um, th these clips, like, you gotta fucking see them. They're very impressive. Yeah, 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 great. Trisha Paytas went on the UK's version of Celebrity Big Brother. The last one. Literally the last one. And of course, obviously, you know, as expected, a pig makes a pig of herself. It's monstrous. It's horrific. It's fucking horrific. Now, you've had some bad guests on Big Brother. In fact, every single person who's ever gone on Big Brother has just been a creature. But she, in particular, is probably the worst one. That's what a lot of people are saying, anyways. And uh, I'm, I'm inclined to I'm inclined to agree with them. Yeah, in the UK one, in the UK one. I don't know if there is an American one. Probably is, or some variation of it. But you know, she was on the UK one. Let's we got to we got to see this right. If I can find it. YouTube. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna exit Super Meat Boy for now. Or oh, actually, no, I'm just gonna Super Meat Boy. There we go. So I can just mute that for now. Right. Let's get into it through here. Two seconds, two seconds. Here we are. Here we fucking are. Like, it's horrific. It's truly horrific. Okay. Right. There we go. Hopefully everyone can see that one. Yep. Should be alright. Just check the stream. See if it's coming on. Yeah, it should be coming on. Right. Let me know if the sound void, the, the, the levels are alright. I can't even wash my body properly because there's no- Or is that too loud? I'll wait for the- I'll wait to see the chat. Or is that too fucking loud? It's fine? Alright, great. Okay. You, you gotta see this shit. You gotta see this shit. Like, they're so fucking stupid, nobody knows who they are, I don't care, they're fucking dumb, and they're all that. Who's the most famous in here? Tell me, be honest, that you would know. They all are, you know? That's the gay one, I'm always friends with the gay people. Is there... Know, is there... We need to find him. I thought you were. Spirits are telling me you're a sucker. For a bad boy. Oh, used to, former, but now I like bitches. You like bitches? Friends? Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> okay, you know why they're trying? Maybe they're trying to be funny and get like attention or. But like the most that you're like, oh, wow, I can't believe they're in here. You? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know yeah, me. Yeah, YouTube. Are you a hooker? Am I a hooker? Yeah, like an escort. I 
said you were. You said, no, you said you showed guys and girls a good time. I <laughs> love God. I don't fuck. I don't even really have sex at all. Like, I had to I mean, a couple days ago, but I wasn't, I wasn't into wasn't it. Wasn't. It used to be really bad. Like, that was totally crazy. Like, did you do that? Mm-hmm. And then I found God and Jesus. Yeah. And, like, I am mm-hmm. an open book. I talk about sex. I talk about love. How to look your own vagina. World's giant vibrator. Just look at There's this. Look, look at this lady. Did you do that? Mm-hmm. And then I found God and Look at it. Fucking look at it. How is that human? How the fuck is that human? About love, how to look your own vagina, world's giant vibrator. There is definitely no subject off limits to me. It's very dangerous to know me or even talk to me because you will be talked about on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking pig. <laughs> My two roommates talked about pooping and shitting on the toilet this morning. I was like, it is so gross. Like, what, my one roommate was like, just so everyone knows, I took a dump last night. It's like, ew. Like, that's just, like, I can't. Like, I also didn't want to puke. I was like, I'm ready to quit right now. You know what I mean? Like, that was just too much. Are you an actor? No, 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 no. I'd like to say I was bloody lying. You can't act. Lying. I you don't have a talent, that's why you have to be like a little hooker on TV, right? Exactly. This is Big Brother. Housemates must remain silent. We're in silent. Like it's not that hard. <laughs> nice guys, I hate ugly guys, I hate like any kind of guys. Guys like that are so like out of my league. I don't need the money. I came in for the experience. I make so much fucking money not to be conceited, but like I make so I literally came in because I thought, oh, oh it's just I mean, everything she fucking says. The voice, then. Yeah, they're fucking assholes. This guy's then, got one of the most epic fucking unibrows I've seen. The... Look at that shit. Fucking Wolverine. It's like it's like the Bollywood version of fucking Wolverine here. It's just there's there's no gap. There's no fucking gap. Look at it. it. Goes all the way across. Like it's gonna be it's gonna be connecting to this. It's gonna be fucking connect. I wonder if anyone has that. I would love to see that. Like just an eyebrow that connects this to this. See if she's got a gap of fucking skin here. I would love to see that. The boys then. Yeah. Like that. They're fucking assholes, and I'm the only one that doesn't like them in this house. So they get on me because they think, oh, there's something like. We have to be so well liked. It's like, no, you're fucking assholes, and everyone is stupider than you, and that's why they all fucking love. I'm like, not educated like bookwise, but I'm educated like you know streetwise. People kind of get a little annoyed for it. it. Gets people a headache, but that's okay because I love giving people headaches because then they stop talking and I get all the room to talk to myself. What makes you so watchable? Um, I think I'm just like a real like bitch. I like cry, I eat, I like you know break down. <laughs> Fat transfer, implants, lips, Botox, fake hair. There's not one real part about my body, and I love. It. You guys don't even have washcloths. <laughs> Really? He has skin on his dick and I'm like, how do you can't stand that? I, I, like, how do you? 95% of my viewers are female, so shout out to my female viewers. Um, <laughs> if I had a dick, I would show it off every chance I could. <laughs> You're literally a boy, you and Jordan. Because you guys are so like little kids. You're literally, I thought you were literally like 16 when I saw you. I was like, yes! That's no, that's not a good thing. I like to be by myself. I don't know why I signed up for this. I like well, to be alone. It's not like I don't like females, but like I usually connect better with guys. Oh my god, in here, I can't stand the guys. Like people talk and I'm like, I don't care. If I left right now, do I get no money or can I at least get like two days paid? You know what I mean? Or like five days because I was over here early. It's like a hundred percent serious. <laughs> It's just fucking amazing. It's just fucking amazing. No, I'm from oh, LA. She wishes. She wishes. <laughs> I'm well. She wishes. Are you, are you like known to be a little promiscuous? Yeah, I'm, well, I'm actually very religious, but like spiritual too. Mm -hmm. What right, say? What do you? Hater. All right. Sure. Just what, just Catholic. Catholic. Are you rich? My rich? Yeah. Oh yeah. I've got like loads of money. Oh, oh, nice to meet you. This is like I can't even scrub my butt or anything because. What a creature. It's like, how is that a real person? Right, let's turn this off. Like, you think it can't be real, but it is. It, it really is, unfortunately. It just fucking is. Monstrous. Absolutely monstrous. Right. Are we playing a different game? Or are we going to keep playing this? Yeah, this is a literal show in the UK. Big Brother. We have monsters like that on, but she's she's probably the worst one they've ever had. 
in a series of the worst zoo animals you can picture. It literally is a fucking zoo. They dress it up with champagne, but it's a fucking human zoo. It's one of the worst shows in the UK. It's probably just above X Factor or something like that. Plain Mario teaches typing. I've never heard of that. Yeah, Sam Pepper could probably be a guest on this show quite happily. He's the type of person that would uh, would would go on the show. But it's just it's just everything she fucking says is like it's out of this fucking world. No, it, it can't. I I would love to see an American show that's worse than that. I know there was that one. It became a bit of a meme. That one with the uh, honey fucking boo boo shit. The little fat girl and her hippo of a mother. Yeah. That well, that one was pretty dreadful. That one was pretty fucking dreadful. But no, you got to watch this UK show. Well, actually, don't watch it. Just watch clips. Don't support the show in any way. But uh, it's pretty fucking bad. It is pretty fucking bad. Jersey Shore, yes, it is bad. All right, okay. Here you go. Here's here's a compliment for you Americans. Your TV shows are far shitter than ours. How about that? You're fucking welcome. You're fucking welcome. Toddlers in tiaras, yes. That's it. That's it. Right. Uh, I'll be back in a sec. I'm just going to use the bathroom and shit. I'm just going to use the fucking lavatory. I'll be back in a sec. I need to get, I need to fucking wash my face, I'm covered in fucking hippo sweat. Uh, two sex.
No, okay, okay, I was wrong. You were right. American TV shows are way shitter. You can have that one. You're very welcome to it. But my point remains, this UK show called Big Brother is a fucking train wreck and it needs to be extinguished from this universe. Along with Trisha fucking Paytas, who is barely human and I swear is an alien come down to claim us all. Yeah, yeah, you didn't hear me pissing because I turned the microphone off. Unlucky. You can't troll me that easy. I know I'm easy to troll. I know I'm easy to troll. You can't troll me that easily. You just can't. Mm. All right. Let's play this some more of this fucking game. I need to put the volume back up. Timer, timer. All right. There we go. I don't know why I can't resize this a little bit. There we go. That's what I want. That's what I fucking want. All right. Oh shit, I forgot to do the fucking right sound. Virgin Diaries. Oh, I've got to see that. I've never even heard of that. It sounds good though. Is that what? A dating show? There are some good British TV shows, obviously. It's this reality television. Oh my god, who can watch it? Who can fucking watch it? Alright. Yeah, Trisha Paytas is just Jesus Christ. Oh, we'll, we'll do, we'll do it. This is pretty much as far as well, this is pretty much as far as I've ever got, really. I don't even remember doing this. Oh fuck! Virgin Diaries specifically for clowns. Oh shit! I've got to see that. The amount of reality crime shows you Brits have is amusing. Ah, come on, America does as well. Come on. So yes, we do have we do have quite a few of those. A lot of people like them. There are plenty of good UK TV shows though. Downton Abbey, of course. Of course I would say that. But it is a good show. Or it was anyway. I only made it up to the third season and then I stopped watching. What I'm watching at the moment is um never seen it uh, before, even though it's been out for a while, is Mad Men. And uh, it's okay, it really does take some getting into, like the acting is extraordinary. Great acting. I just, I just really struggle to get into it. Good character development, but that's about all it's got. And the main character is obviously brilliant, Donald Draper. I'm also watching um, while I'm waiting for Stranger Things 2 to come out, I'm watching a show called Narcos. I'm on the second season. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not Breaking Bad, obviously, but it's good. It's good. It's got to be a way to do this easier. Oh, there's a little gap there. All right. Fuck. Yeah, I'm enjoying Narcos so far. I haven't seen American Vandal yet. I know Keemstar was raving about it. Why do I keep doing that? Keemstar was raving about it. Um, I know it's on Netflix. I've got it here in Netflix Thailand, but I'm yet to, I'm yet to really check it out. What do I think of Gordon Ramsay? I fucking love Gordon Ramsay. Is it worth watching? Um, what's it called? What's the name of the show again? The one on Netflix we were just talking about? Well, whatever it's called. Is it worth watching? It is, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I love Gordon Ramsay. I think he's a genius. I still much prefer pineapple on pizza, though, and there's nothing that even he can say that could change my mind on that. I just like pineapple on pizza. He says it doesn't work. I like it. I don't care. You like what you like. That's all there is to it. Gordon Ramsay, he tries some, like, pretty specialist recipes. 
like combining weird ingredients with other weird ingredients. Do you think he would be okay with pineapple on pizza? I don't know why he's not. But yeah, absolutely nothing wrong with pineapple on pizza, if that's what you fucking like. Okay, it's got fucking harder now, you can tell. Fuck! Gordon Ramsay is a businessman, pretty much. He's a very good businessman. He's kind of a cunt as a, as a, as a person. But, um, he's a fucking funny cunt. The only problem I have with Gordon Ramsay is that it can be very fucking fake at times. Especially when he started doing American reality TV shows. Entertaining as they were. Hell's Kitchen and The F Word, I can't remember the fucking names of them. Entertaining as they were, he was very, very fake at them at times. Tried try too hard to make himself look at a, like, a good guy in certain situations. Like, when these Americans, as they always fucking do, they get so over-emotional over fucking everything. He's like, oh, I feel for your situation, I feel for you. They don't give a fuck, it's just good TV. Him being a cunt is what he's best at, and he should be a cunt all the fucking time. So if someone starts fucking crying and shit, just tell him to shut up. Just tell him to fucking shut up. The best part is where, where he's just himself. Massive fucking cunt. When he starts being... When he starts pretending to be something else, the American TV audience, that's when it starts becoming shit. And you can really pick up on that. Only Fools and Horses, I think it's okay. It's okay. I never, I never really liked it that much. I'm not that old, by the way, it's not from my era. But yeah, I do like it. I don't think I've even seen every episode. I've been looking to put some money in cryptocurrencies, but uh, Bitcoin, etc. But um, I don't really have any. <laughs> is the answer to that? Long and short of it. Yeah, I've been looking to put some money into it for a while. Um, just wish I had something to put into it. <laughs> is the answer. Everyone tells me I should. Uh, Peep Show is okay. I think, again, it's a bit overrated. A little bit overrated. There's some funny parts. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. The Americans can have that. It's probably the funniest show ever made. Never fails to make me laugh. You can have that one. Way funnier than anything else. Cancerous Poker Vlogs. Well, I like poker. What if I play poker on stream? People like that? I'd like it. I like to play some fucking poker. But yeah, no, if I had the money, I'd invest in some crypto fucking currencies. Just don't have a despair. Yeah, Black Adder, of course, is fucking genius. Again, one of the best shows ever made. A lot of people say that Going Forth, which is the fourth season, the one where it's uh, First World War was the best season. I disagree. It was, uh, what's the era called? Not Medieval. That's the first series of Medieval. Second series is like the Elizabethan period. Yes, Elizabethan. I think it's the second season. That's the best season. Yes, you've got Medieval, Elizabethan, Stuart, and First World War. Fuck, what the fuck do I do here? Do I jump up? Black out of three, really. First season was definitely the, the poorest. But, uh. I say the third season, second, poorest. Then fourth, then, then, then second. I'm getting them mixed up. Third the worst, second the best. No, first the worst, second the best. Third, second worst, fourth, second best. There you go, even rhymes for you.
any comedies that I hate that other people love. Yeah, fucking Rick and Morty. Fucking hate that shit. It's the most unfunny rubbish I've ever seen. It's so unfunny it hurts. And now obviously, like, people have joined the trend saying that uh, Rick and Morty is shit, it was never good, uh, the fan base is garbage, etc., etc. Um, but I have always attested from the very fucking beginning, since the first season came out, it's a piece of trash. Fucking trash. Because it fucking is. It fucking is. It's so unfunny. Hi, I'm Pickle Rick. God, it's so, it's so shit. It's just lowest common denominator humor. It really fucking is. But you know, humor's subjective, all that fucking shit. Whatever. My my uh my opinion on humor is, is superior to other people's, so of course, of course I think that. <laughs> you enjoy garbage, John. It's not just it's not garbage, that's the thing, the fucking animations are great. All that shit. You know, the voice work is great. It's it's a professional show. The humour is just appalling. It's just not funny. In a show that tries so hard to be funny, it's just fucking not. But that's just my opinion. Fuck me, what am I doing here? You have to have a high IQ to understand Rick and Morty, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking disagree with you, though. What the fuck is this lowest common denominator humour? Why do you need a high IQ to understand the Pickle Rick joke? What's the deep fucking meaning behind that? Please. Yeah, Futurama is better. Futurama is fucking better. Ah, oh, fuck. I still don't think Futurama is like the most hilarious fucking cartoon ever made. But it, I think it's better than Rick and Morty. I've actually laughed at some things at Futurama, or remember laughing, it's been ages since I've seen that show. Properly. It's not that Rick and Morty tries too hard, it's just that it's not fucking funny. I don't know, maybe it's just my sense of humour, but I can't, I can't find it funny. I've never laughed at a joke once. I love now though that everyone fucking hates that show because everyone else hates it. God, people just don't have their own fucking opinions, do they? Whatever, I've got fucking evidence that I hated that show from the beginning. Actually, no, I don't, because my Twitter's fucking gone. Yeah, when someone asked me ages ago, do you like Rick and Morty? I said, no, not really. And uh, people like couldn't fucking believe it. They just couldn't fucking believe it. They thought it was my sense of humor exactly. I was like, well, oh shit, <laughs> maybe I'm just so unfucking funny then. God, maybe I need to maybe I need to fix my fucking humour. Not that you fucking can, really. It's nothing you can do about it. Oh, what am I fucking doing? The fan base is shit, and I think the show is shit. Well, no, the show is not shit because the animations are good and stuff. The voice acting is good. I appreciate that. It's just not fucking funny. End of story. It's just, it's just. But. The guy who said, the guy who said, oh, you have to be, you have to be, have a high IQ to understand Rick and Morty. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? I can't believe that. What the fuck do I do here? Fuck me. Philosophy behind it is really good. Fan base is cancer and people watch it like any fad. I personally enjoyed it. If you enjoy it, you enjoy it. I'm not going to hold it against you. We all like what we like. I just, I just, I just don't think the cute is funny. I just don't think it's really funny. Pickle Rick. What are the other how You see, you can't even remember the jokes. I'm Mr. Me Seeks. <laughs> what? That, that was everyone loved that part. I was like, oh, fuck it, what? Can't laugh at that. Fuck. Come on, get up. Oh, yes. 
took me long enough. Took me. You have to have an eye high IQ to understand theoretical physics or brain surgery, not a fucking cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fucking cartoon. Deep, deep jokes with deep meaning. It's just not good. It's just not funny. I'm British, you know, part of a British humour. But then saying that, there's like, I watch Monty Python, and obviously there's a lot of funny parts in Monty Python. It's fucking genius, right, at the end of the day. But you, you can go for hours watching Monty Python and never laugh. Like, there are some skits that they do are just so fucking unfun. There was no humour there. I mean, I don't, I don't think Life of Brian was very funny. Monty Python and the Holy Grail was fucking hilarious. There were only like two funny parts in Life of Brian. The rest was pretty shit, wasn't it? It was ahead of its time, though. Wise words from Colossal, I hated it from the start. Yes. I did, I've got fucking proof. I'm not, I, I'm not going with the trend of uh, uh, hating Rick and Morty, as everyone else seems to be doing. Got proof. I hated it when everyone loved it. Shit. The best thing that you can do is just be fucking honest with yourself when it comes to liking things. You either like it or you fucking don't like it. That way you don't get caught out. So I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that profess their love and adoration for Rick and Morty. And now that they, they feel really bad being on the other end of the spectrum, they really want to kind of go with the trend of everyone hating fucking Rick and Morty and shit. I enjoy it, but the humour is shit. Well, that's an interesting one. What do you enjoy about it if the humour isn't there? In a show, which is primary function is to be funny and to entertain you through humour. Can you enjoy a show when that's not its primary purpose and goal? What do you like about it? Thunderbirds, yeah, of course. It was around when I was a kid. I never really watched it. It wasn't for me. It was like... You had shows like Thomas the Tank Engine and shit. Well, if you like trains, you like Thomas the Tank Engine. A lot of kids like trains. So, Thunderbirds is like planes and shit. You like fucking planes? Probably gonna like that show. For me, it was fucking Thundercats. I fucking love Thundercats. I like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That was my shit. Cartoons used to be so fucking good. The 80s were just best cartoons. Best fucking cartoons. 80s, early 90s. It was a great time. Now we got fucking Rick and Morty. And, uh, well, I mean, there have been some good cartoon shows on Cartoon Fucking Network. There are some good ones there. Yeah, Transformers, I like that one as well. Not as much, but it was alright. Hitchhiker's Guide, the book or the movie? I never read the book, but I have seen the movie. I enjoyed the movie, yeah, it was alright. Have you heard of a show called The Strain? If so, what's your opinion? No, I haven't. Is it worth watching? If you couldn't tell, I'm really into fucking TV shows and shit. The original Ready Play Radio Plays are fucking incredible. I used to watch fucking Sonic Underground. Yeah, that was after my time, I think. There was certainly a Sonic cartoon. Don't think I was really into that. But, um... I think Sonic Underground came afterwards. Opinions on Psychic Pebbles. I've spoken to him a few times. Seems like a nice blow. Seems like a nice fella. I've actually offered to um, help him out with uh, his podcast that he's doing for free. Do some of the edit, uh, the audio editing work, if I have the time. It's 
long as it doesn't take up too much. I want to put like a hell of a lot of work into it. Like no cutting out some of the audio and stuff. But if it's just syncing it and uh, fixing up the audio a bit, I'm happy to do that. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm always I'm always open to going on other people's podcasts pretty much all the time. Sounds pretty bad to say, but if, if you've got like if it's a podcast like four subscribers or whatever, then you know it's I'm not gonna do that anymore. Speak to me another time. Because at that point you're just you're just using me a little bit. But you know, you've got a hundred subscribers or whatever, you know, I'll, I'll try and I'll try and come on if I have the time. Oh fuck. Clown, you've got to save all your live streams because I'm always busy. They should save automatically, but they've not been doing that. So there's maybe a setting I've got to change. The last one certainly didn't save. You started a podcast. I now understand your struggle. Yeah, I mean, I enjoy podcasts. I enjoy doing them. People now say they're boring because obviously too many people did them, which is a great shame. Again, don't judge a whole fucking genre based on the majority of uh, other people making it. Judge it on the thing it's fucking self. That's what you should be doing. Yeah, because I, I listen to podcasts and, and there's very few that I actually enjoyed. Ricky Gervais' podcast, the Ricky Gervais podcast, obviously was fantastic. Probably one of the best podcasts ever made, to be honest. But, um, you know, there are plenty of ones that I, that I listened to that were shit. Don't judge an entire genre based on that. Case by case basis. As with everything. We were talking about this earlier. With drama, with the drama community. Case by case fucking basis. Speaking of podcasts, what I haven't debated, I know you probably gave that a lot, but I really love that shit. Um, I probably get that a lot, that's what you say. Uh, yeah, I was talking about it a bit earlier. But, um,. Yes, I'm very open to doing another episode, but uh, at the moment Keemstar doesn't seem to have a fucking time. Um, well, that's what he says anyway. I was talking about it earlier. It was a bit of a negative point against Keemstar, but I do feel that for him it was more about a platform to defend himself than anything else. More than anything else. Um, and he's very, he's less interested, obviously he's still, it's still important to him, but he's less interested in actually entertaining the audience, or even entertaining himself which is what I'm interested in. And uh, now that it, he no longer needs to defend himself or needs a platform to defend himself on, he doesn't seem to really care about the show. Um, but of course, that's kind of selfish thinking, selfish reasoning, and we do need to do a show. Last time I spoke to him, he was a bit drunk, and he did seem open to it. He, did, he does want to do another podcast, so that's what he said. So here's hoping it fucking happens. Because I want to do another one. I wish we'd done one a fucking week ago, because I had a lot to say about this H3H stuff. Finally, a fucking topic that I was actually interested in. A topic that wasn't fucking Jake Paul and diss tracks. Because the last episode did, I wasn't fucking interested at all. It never reflects in a podcast when you're not interested in something. The audience can hear that. So, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't not a big fan of the last episode. Keemstar loved it, because fucking he wants to talk about Jake Paul and shit. Ah, uh, yeah, the official podcast, I, I was listening to it today, the episode with Keemstar. Um, it was alright. It was alright. Keemstar behaved himself. Yeah. This is a typical podcast, I wouldn't, I don't rate it that highly. It is what it is. It's certainly not the best one out there. I would say that um, Old Basin was far better than that. But I'm biased, obviously. I'm fucking biased. H3H3's podcast is his literal retirement home. He will never reach the heights of his early reaction videos now he's out of ideas. It's super sad right now. Well, I kind of don't dis- I kind of disagree with that. I think it's a good podcast. I mean, I was listening to PewDiePie and subsequently the one he does where he shit talks Keemstar. And you know, it is entertaining. This, I was very entertained listening to it. I listened to it the whole way through. Fuck me, this, this is gonna go fast. Holy shit. Let's 
I don't know. I, I don't agree with that. Yeah, I, I think the original beta was the best. But, yeah, I'm biased. I'm not biased. Jar cast is good. Yep, I like that. Have they had any other guests on? Have I been the only guest on that show? I'm not sure. I haven't, haven't tuned in for a while. How the fuck do I get in here? My, jo my fucking controller keeps disconnecting. What the fuck? I don't understand that at all. Yeah, for what it was, you know, Keemstar and me screeching at each other. If you don't enjoy that, you don't enjoy it. A lot of people said they didn't enjoy it, but secretly, deep down, of course they fucking did. Of course they did. Everybody loves that shit. They just never admit it. Well, some people do admit it, because obviously you just did. But a lot of people weren't willing to admit it. If I ever do another podcast, I mean, other than Beta, because I'm still officially on there. If I ever do another one, I'll do them with I Hate Everything and someone else, and we'll talk about movies and shit. It won't be Beta, but it'll be something else. What's that key for, though? I don't know. Who would I do it with? I'm not sure. I guess because we're talking about movies. It wouldn't have to be... It wouldn't have to necessarily be a person who, whose channel talks about movies. It could just be some entertaining fucker. Billy the Fridge. Yeah, me, H3H3, H3, Billy the fucking Fridge. Although he's doing another podcast now. YMS. Yeah, people keep talking about him. I've actually never seen a video from him. Psychic Pepper was already has a podcast called Schmucks. Schmucks. Yeah, Fox here would be a good fucking host. Though, he is better. I will say this for sir. He is better in like a kind of live situation. Like, it's a perfect live streamer, really. Perfect live streamer. Though his voice is good, I think his other qualities are better. Fucking Dolan Dark, he can't even speak properly. He actually sounds like a fucking Spurg. Does Dolan, does fucking Jay. He's got such a Spurg fucking voice. Like New Zealand Spurg. What happened to Zapti? You know, fuck that. Fuck that shit. Some things you just can't forget. Really. Yeah, Zapti is completely disconnected from the fucking internet. He's gone. Totally gone. And, uh, pretty nasty to say, but good riddance. Good fucking riddance. Big liar, that one. Holy shit. I don't know where the lines began and ended with that. Oh, for fuck's sake. YMS is better than IHE in my opinion, but they're both shit compared to Ralph the Movie Maker. See, again, another person I haven't heard of. The thing is, I'm really into movies, but I don't watch a lot of channels that talk about movies some reason. used to watch the uh, guy with glasses, Doug, whatever the fuck his name is, but I found he got very stale very quickly. There are some points, some videos I've watched that are generally like fucking funny. Like some of his reactions to shit. And then you watch another one and you're like, fuck, is this the same fucking guy? These skits he started doing at the start with the devil and shit. It's like, what the fuck is this shit? What the fuck is this? Nostalgia critic, yes. He was far better 
when he when he was on his own. When he had those other people involved, it turned to shit. It turned to fucking shit. But yeah, I don't really want uh, too many YouTubers uh, that talk about movies, to be honest. Oh, fuck me. This is fucking hard. Mom. I'm sure Billy the Fridge is Billy the Fridge is a big fat guy. I'm sure he sits around and watches a lot of fucking movies. He's just a fucking solid, entertaining guy. I reckon. Funny guy. He's just good at that shit. Born entertainer. It's like for me, I'm not a born entertainer. I have to actually fucking work at this shit, you know. I have to actually fucking try. But, um, Billy the Fridge, he's just, just the type of person he just comes fucking naturally to. Some people just have that kind of luck. I was born with a spectacular voice. Um, Billy the Fridge was born as a natural fucking entertainer. We all have our own qualities. Kept my dad, 70 year old man, talking about movies. I don't think that's a good idea. My father doesn't even know that I do YouTube. If he, if, it, if he did, he'd constantly be questioning me like, are you doing your work? Are you doing your fucking work because, or are you just working on a fucking video? I'd be fired, probably. My own fucking father would fire me. Drunken Peasants Podcast. I got tired of Billy being on the Drunk and Pest podcast for many times. Is he still there? I thought he was. I thought he was still there. Surely it should be a better show with him on. Because, I mean, when I was doing the, uh, the video on Amazing Atheist, I felt I felt it was a bit boring. That that show, Drunk and Peasants. Couldn't get into it. But then I only watched one episode and I didn't even watch it all the way through. So, again, that was kind of biased. But, um... That wasn't that wasn't a good opinion to have. Very baseless, I guess. But uh, from what I saw, and I watched a good couple of hours on it, just, I didn't, couldn't get into it. The personality is not for me. Yeah, my fucking father, my fucking father would fire me, not from my channel, from my um, from my fucking job, because I work for my father. And he think I've I've been doing too too many YouTube videos when I should be fucking selling poison shit. Ah, oh, fuck! Yeah, the amazing atheist. What's his name? What's his fucking name again? What's his real name? Anyways, that guy... Uh, he actually enjoyed the video. It's a weird thing I have with my with my videos. The people I'm making them on, other than FooseyTube, he's the only one. They've all enjoyed it. They've all enjoyed them. And weren't offended in any way. I've never had that problem. At all. They've always enjoyed it. Nice things to say. No, nothing negative about it. TJ Kirk, yeah. Um, the only one who had a problem was fucking FooseyTube. That was it. Even fucking Lion Maker. I'm sitting there calling, saying, I fucking think this guy's a pedophile. I'm literally sitting there doing that, and he's like, yeah, it's a good video. <laughs> it's like, that, that's, that's, I think that's, that goes down as an achievement. I can lose my channel. I can lose my fucking Twitter. Oh, I have lost it. I can lose the fucking Twitch. With 5,000 followers and all. Um, I could be destroyed on the internet by someone, iDubs can make a content cop on me, kind of hope he does, uh, lose all the contacts I make, but I got Lion Maker, a pedophile, no, potential pedophile, gotta be careful about that, I got, I made a video about Lion Maker saying, I think this guy's a pedophile, and he fucking liked it. That one is one for the record books. 
That's probably my greatest fucking accomplishment. The thing is, he did fight it, Gray. He did fight it. He has always attested that he wasn't one. But he's just still like the video. Jesus Christ. Anyways, that's that's my great that's my greatest fucking YouTube accomplishment. It's not about the views, it's not about the subscribers, it's not about the fucking money. I got a I, I called a guy a pedophile, said I thought he was a pedophile and he fucking liked it. <laughs> It's just insane. That's the first time I've ever really thought about that. It was very uncomfortable when he started crying on the interview. Um, I think I said that was like, the, at the time, it was like the hardest thing I think I've ever, I've ever done. YouTube or otherwise, it was like the hardest thing I've ever fucking done. And it was, you know. It fucking was. It was brutal. I'll never do it again. Never. Never anything similar, yeah. No way. Not for all the fucking money in the world. Okay, well, everything has a price. I'd probably do it for like 100 grand. So yes, for, for a lot of money, yes. I do, I do a lot of things for a lot of money. Do you ever think you'll come back to YouTube with all the shit that has been happening? I'm, I'm not, I haven't left YouTube. I haven't uploaded a video, but I haven't left it. I haven't taken a break from it. I just feel like there isn't a topic that has piqued my interest. And that I'd enjoy talking about. Except for this H3H3 Ethan Klein uh, Keemstar PewDiePie thing. Which has been fascinating. Um, would it make for a funny video? I'm not sure. I don't know, I don't think it would. I don't know how to make that funny. And after the FoosyTube video, that's my primary concern. After the Lion Maker interview, after the FoosyTube shit, that's, that's my main goal, primary concern. How long ago was my last upload? Uh, fuck me. Three, four months? Long time ago. It just really hasn't been anything interesting. And yeah, I, I can talk about you know what I'm doing with the keyword series. I could branch off into something else, but when it comes to like drama topics, talking about specific YouTubers, it's, it's, there hasn't been anything, you know? There just hasn't. Nothing has piqued my interest. I'm not gonna make a fucking video on Jake Paul. I don't fucking care about Jake Paul. I don't care about fucking distracted shit. Is FoosyTube Alternate Reality Part 2 going to be a thing? Uh, I never say never, but. I don't think there's enough there. Well, there is enough there to make a second video. But there's not enough there to make a second video that would rival the first. In my opinion. I think about four months, yeah. Four months. Fuck me. Great, you're, you're too modest. I think you'd be good on a podcast. Whatever happened with fucking Axis of Evil as well, by the way? Whatever happened with that? Um, no, great, I disagree. I think you'd be great with podcast. You speak very quickly, but it's like, that's fine. People can still understand it. They just brains, their brains run a little bit slower. So maybe they're not going to be able to understand every word you say. But that's their fucking problem. That's their fucking fault for having a shit brain. But he does. If you've ever spoken to Grade A, you won't hear this in his videos. You won't hear this in his videos because he does actually slow it down. I think he does that intentionally. But you ever speak to him in a Skype call or whatever, he talks so fucking quickly. It's unreal. Fucking motor mouth. Yeah, I used, to, I used to get into a lot of calls. Haven't done so for a while. But Grade, uh, Leafy and myself, we get into these Skype calls that would last fucking hours. Where we just talk about rubbish. We just talk about shit. Mostly talk about Leafy for some reason, because Leafy always fucking talked about himself. But, um, yeah. Grade would speak very, very fucking quickly. 
um, and Leafy would never stop talking. So, so they were always interesting, always fascinating discussions. Would have been a great podcast. Um, I would have been interested to see how it would have translated to a podcast. But yeah, fucking Leafy, man. Jesus Christ. Constantly talking about himself and constantly fucking talking all the fucking time. You can't get the guy to shut up. You have to physically interrupt the guy to get a, to get a word in. Anyone who, who was like, like, Leafy is socially fucking awkward and shit, like, they didn't know what they were talking about. That was, that was not the case at all. Like, you think, you think he's going to be or whatever. To be honest, like, you watch a Leafy video, you think he's not very articulate, uh, articulate or whatever. Couldn't be further from the truth. The guy always has something to fucking say. Never a moment of fucking silence with him. Yeah, he says literally a lot. He finds like what I found. What I found with Leafy is, he'll say like a word, he'll latch onto a word, and then he's going to use that fucking word for the next month constantly, like it becomes his new favorite word. It's pretty funny. A lot of people saying like the channel's dead, Leafy's channel is dead and shit. When you're getting 200,000, 300,000 views per video and you're uploading every day, every other day, I don't think that's a dead channel. I really don't. I think a lot of people would be very happy with that. And yeah, because it's not what it was, people are like, oh yeah, the channel's dead, the channel's fucking dead. It's not. Does he repeat himself? I never really picked up on that. Not really. Never found that. But most of these Skype calls, I just kind of sit back, sit back and uh, and listen to to Leafy monologue. Leafy's monologue. Grades interjections so rapid that like it's like a fucking machine gun of words. And I, I just sit there and try and say something fucking witty every once in a while, I suppose. Yes, Grade is right, yeah. He'll ask for confirmation on something, you'll give an opinion and he'll ask it. I, 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 can't, I can't remember how many times, I couldn't even put this into a number. But it's got to be in dozens. How many times Leafy has asked me, what video shall I make? He'll call me up, what video shall I make? And it, that, that went on daily. What video shall I make? What video shall I make? What shall I do? And then in the same sky court, he would ask the same question. It was like, for, for me, he must have liked, because I gave him the same answer pretty much every time. I tried to give him a little bit of advice here and there. But for me, it was the same time. It was like, everything was, every, every single time was the same thing. You know, I, I don't, I don't really know Leafy, because if I had any video ideas, I'd fucking make it myself. <laughs> you know, I'll let you know when I fucking made a video. But yeah, he was always looking for something, always looking for an idea. I guess when you're making that many videos, and at, at, at that point, he was daily uploading, every other day. I remember if he would ask me something, I'd break it down and give a reply, and then he would ask Colossal in the pool and ask him the same exact thing. Yeah. Well, he just wanted two sets of advice. But, like, you, you'd literally tell him the advice. Like, the answer to his question, and then he'd fucking ask it again five minutes later. Like, the opinion had changed within the span of five minutes. It's just... There's no fucking way. How the fuck do I get up there? Oh! Fuck. So yeah, he wouldn't really repeat what he had to say, but he would repeat the questions over and over.
Oh, does Mr. Rapsion do that too? I didn't even realise. Yeah, if Braid is right, he would do that. That's just too... that's just what he fucking did. Like, you pretty much tune it out after a while. You just get used to it. Everyone has their, like, fucking quirks and shit. But yeah, I haven't spoken to him for ages. Not for ages. Well, I spoke to him a couple weeks ago, but it was very brief. He just wanted to know what was going on in, on the PewDiePie situation. Even though he already fucking knew the answer. But again, he probably was asking for an opinion. Fuck's sake. But he's nothing like you would assume from his videos, he's surprisingly smart and insightful. He, I always thought that. Like, you're surprised, when you get in a call with him for like the first few times, you're very surprised with the way he speaks. And the way he articulates himself. Basing it on his videos. Fucking hell, every time. Did you answer the question? What happened with the, um, Axis of Evil thing? I haven't really asked Keemstar about it. Was that ever gonna happen? Was there a point that it was gonna happen? Regarding Access of Evil, it was going to happen, but I kept it, putting it off because of my emo issues and home shit I had going on. I wouldn't have been a particular joy to listen to. That's fair enough. Is, is this a phase that you kind of uh, have overcome now? Or does it remain a little bit? Yeah, I'll stream Hearthstone again. Probably not today. Though I am getting pretty sick of this game, I'll be honest. gone now, situation totally changed like five weeks ago and things are a lot better, hence why I'm finally even making videos. Cool. To be honest, Clown is pretty depressing, but I enjoy him talking like he hates everything. I don't hate everything, just most things. I'm British, that's what British people do. Greg can confirm that. I didn't even know you could do that. Well, whatever, I quit. I quit the game. Fuck that shit. Right. Okay, let's play some fucking Hearthstone for a little bit. A couple of games, and we'll call it a night. Hang on. Do 
Do I still talk to I Hate Everything? Yeah, I spoke to him the other day. Not frequently, but I, I don't really speak to... Other than Keemstar, actually. I speak to whoever fucking calls me. You call me, I pick up. But I don't actively, like, go out and, like, try and contact someone regularly. Let's put it that way. And uh, Keemstar kind of calls me a lot, so I always pick up. But other than that, I don't really speak to that many YouTubers on a frequent basis. Not really, anyway. Right. Hearthstone, Hearthstone. There we go. Drag this up a bit. You've never played Hearthstone. It's alright, it's not per it's a, not a great game for a stream, but I enjoy playing it and that's why I'm fucking doing it. But um it's easy to read the chat at the same time you're playing because there's like pauses within the game. Yeah, I'm still in Thailand, yeah. Won't be back till Christmas. Not till Christmas. Do I think I will be posting a new video on my channel anytime soon? Not soon. Not soon. But in the next three weeks, hopefully. Thoughts on Onision? To be honest, like, I don't really know very much about the guy. I know everyone and their brother has made a fucking video on the guy. But I've never really watched them, never been that interested into it. Um, but yeah, I know a lot of people have some very negative things to say about him. How warranted they are, I'm not sure. No idea. Never really looked into it, so I didn't have an opinion. No, I don't know why anything for views was uh, suspended on Twitter. Same situation as me, we just don't know the answer. We were never really told. Um, but with me, I still, like I said, I think it was because I was posting, uh, not me, the fake account was posting violent threats. Kill yourself and such to other fucking people, and Twitter took notice and banned the fucking wrong account. So that's what I think has happened. No, I didn't watch that podcast. Was it good? Anything for views got banned for mass reporting, and I think he posted the N word or some shit. Yeah, he did mention that he posted the word. But just posting it, he told me about the context, he was literally just posted the word as a reference. Um, I have seen people get banned for less, but honestly, I've seen people get away with a lot more. So I'm not sure. You never really know with Twitter anymore. Is the sound on? I think it is. There we go. I've never seen an Ice Poseidon stream, no. I don't really like the in real life streams. They don't really interest me that much. I know a lot of people like them. They're, they're not really good. Cool. Yeah, plenty of people have had their Twitter bans banned for ridiculous reasons over the years. But for me, it was like, there's literally nothing I could have done that came even close. I thought it was for the PewDiePie shit to start with, because of my opinion on that. But honestly, I've got no fucking idea. There really shouldn't be a reason, though. My greetings. Give that minion a turn to get ready. How much do I smoke a day? I'm probably on like a pack and a half a day at the moment. It's not good. 
How the fuck has he got all these fucking cards out so quickly? What the fuck? Right. What was your message when I've been by? I missed it. Why do you have some gay-ass private Twitter now? Oh, because I haven't come back to Twitter officially yet. If I do decide, well, if I don't get my account reinst reinstated by tomorrow, I'll probably come back. I'll suck it up and come back to that Twitter. But until then, I'm not officially back. I'm trying not to use it. The web unravels. Alright. Can't do that. Arbath, matey! I'm inside, I am. For the wild. I have tried vaping, but uh, 